Okay, uh, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat uh, and also on YouTube in the future if you're watching this later. For our next deck of the day, we got Gruel Frenzy. Um, this deck's been a lot of fun to play so far. We've played it twice uh, to pretty good success both times. Um, really what we're trying to do is just get Experimental Frenzy down and play a lot of cards off the top of the library. Wayward Swordtooth means we get to play multiple lands a turn. Hey, Hawkeye. Hey, what you doing, boy? Want to come say hi? And and everything like that. Um, the only I'm making one very, very small change since the last time we played it. Um, I had four Kral Harpooners in the sideboard before, um, but I'm cutting that down to three because I think our mono blue matchup's okay. And so, I don't know, I'm just, just making that little bit of change and going from three to four Cinder Vines because, you know, these Nexus decks are, um, are kind of all over the, the place. So doing that one very small little change. Skargan Hawkeye. Love it. Yeah, get that metal equip. Yep, that's that's what I got too. I got the the uh, the metal the the is it like a, a gun metal colored metal toothbrush. And when that comes in, Sir Swindler, you have to let me know if you really like it too. When that comes in, let me know. The Darth Knight. And as you can tell over here, we got the 12 hour uh, quip goal as well. If we get to get to 10 people that sign up, we'll be doing a, another 12 hour stream. <clears throat> the next 12 hour stream is tomorrow. So 11 to 11 Eastern. Hmm. Let's do the land war off. Let's get more mana on the battlefield. And that's our that's our deck. We're a, a mana deck. Yeah, how is Experimental Frenzy good? Yeah, so basically Experimental Frenzy is awesome because... I want to kill that thing. Because our, our whole deck is, is built around getting, uh, getting a lot of mana on the battlefield. And so, Experimental Frenzy is awesome when you have a lot of mana on the battlefield. Because, like, we, we empty our hand um, and increase our mana, and then we play Frenzy, and then we get a whole lot of cards. Because when you have a lot of mana, you can play a lot of cards. <clears throat> I'm also going to have a, a new sponsor for tomorrow. We're going to be doing another campaign uh, tomorrow. I'll have all the stuff up for movement. Um, watches and sunglasses. Like this, this watch right here is a movement watch. So we'll have that stuff up there tomorrow. Certainly consider just playing the Frenzy this turn, but with the Incubation Druid, just going to go ahead and get these last two cards um, out of our hand. I, I don't have I don't have their their sunglasses. They sent they sent me this watch though. Um, I got this cool blue and brown watch. Blue blue and brown it looks really nice. And so I'll have a referral link so you can get fifteen percent off your purchase there. It was a company started by a couple college kids that um, that they wanted nice watches, but they couldn't afford nice watches, and so they're like, you know what? Let's just start our own watch company, and we can make we can make these nice watches for a lot cheaper. We could have upkeep stop, yeah. We have we have like the treasure map that we get to do at end step, and we'll be able to kind of see on the, what's on the battlefield to see if we need to upkeep stop. I I would prefer to be able to uh, scry with experimental frenzy out, so I, I would prefer to not upkeep stop if possible. But might as well just like set it there for right now, because I want I want to be able to scry like spells, um, to the bottom to hit more land drops or, or so on. I haven't figured out 
how Electro Dominance works with Frenzy, but pretty sure it doesn't work. So that's the pretty sure, is it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna draw. I'd rather just have the scry available afterwards. Hmm, well. Dang. Really need to find lands here. Really need more lands. We still can't block with the sword tooth. That was kind of unfortunate to have four cards in a row that wasn't like we didn't have a single land with the four cards. Because you know, like we scribed this card to the bottom. If that was a land, I would have kept it on top. And then and then we drew a treasure map, and then it was coil, and then it was sword tooth. Um, so we're at three. Don't think I can shock, considering we're at three. Um... I fight with fire, it taps two creatures. We can tap like two creatures to kill this 3-3, three, three, and then we can block 2-2 two, two, and 2-2, two, two, but then we're taking three and we're at three, so we can't really do that. So let's just go ahead and pass then. Hmm. So we're going to have to chomp with the two druids. And the land werewolf. I mean, we have to chomp with th three things here. Things did not go very good for us this game. Opponent had a pretty good hand. Good merfolk stuff. All right, do we have 13 mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ugh. Three mana off. We didn't have to chump block of, like, paying for to destroy this frenzy and then just fight with fire, kicked, and kill all their things. I know, Hawkeye, we are close. All right, let's try again. Let's get these cannonades in here. Um, I think that's it, just the cannonades. Uh, I don't love the treasure maps in this matchup. They're going to be pretty slow. I think that's that's our card that we're cutting for the cannonades. And I think that's it. Just a clean, clean kind of swap there. We'll keep one treasure map. Yeah, Dare don't think I want Daredevil. So, there we go. Daredevil doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, it blocks. Um, nah, Hellkite's not too expensive. I couldn't, I couldn't cast the Fight with Fire in my hand because we had Frenzy in play. Um, otherwise, I would have loved to cast that Fight with Fire and kick it and stuff. Uh, we needed a, a little bit more mana to be able to um, destroy the Frenzy and kick fight with fire buff. This hand's awesome. Captain Love, thank you so much for that sub with Twitch Prime. Sub number eight on the day. Let's get some hype in the channel for Captain Love with the sub. Thank you so much. Did you hear about the vegan? Uh. 
There we go. Got some hype for Captain Love. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter if we, you know, like, what land we really play there. Now, Spyglass can deal with any permanent. You could, like, any permanent with an activated ability. Like, field, you can Spyglass Field of Ruin, for example. Then your opponent cannot activate Field of Ruin's ability. Um... All right, starting next turn. This is a, yeah, this is gonna be a good turn. All right, let's go Frenzy. Where are the lands at? That's a land, love it. Land? Ooh. Hellkite's not a land, but it's a pretty good card. But it's not a land. Let's let's ship it. There we go, land. Get it. Get it. Yeah, so we get to play three lands a turn now. And now next turn, like, you know, we'll be able to play three lands and cast a bunch of spells. I'd say we have a little bit of a man advantage over the opponent right about now. Yeah, this was one of our best hands. This is a great hand for us. Because we had turn two, sword tooth, turn three, sword tooth plus treasure map, turn four, that. That was our turn four. Our turn five is going to be nuts. Yeah, this is a lot cooler ramp than Wilderness Reclamation, I agree. Maybe they'll do the Llanowar Elf. Do the Elf. Do the Elf. Elf. Nah. Alright, so it loses the ability, so we only get two land drops this turn. Alright, I don't want that card. Scry it. Alright, get this land. Get this Rekindling Phoenix. Um, No attacks. I don't want to trade my Sword Tooth for some stuff. If I would have shocked, if I would have paid the two life with the stomping ground, I could have played this Phoenix. So, getting punished for not paying two life there. Which maybe I just should, being at 20. But I'm still, you know, kind of worried. Or I should just pay the two life. Okay, I... So this is why I should pay the two life, because... We just need to destroy the frenzy and then fight with fire and kill them. They're at nine. I should just pay. I should have just like this whole turn. I shouldn't even be playing the phoenix. I should just blow up the frenzy and then nine them. Um, how close are we to doing that anyway? If we, that's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just have to hit like one land drop to kill them. Alright, so we need we need this card underneath here to be a land. That's not a land. Hmm.
We can kill, like, all their stuff. Just takes all of my resources. So we can kill, like, all their stuff. And there's lethal. Alright, so yeah, still, Daredevil doesn't, like, they don't have, like, the spells for Daredevil. The treasure map was okay for us. Alright, yep, found lethal. Still, even though I could have done it a little easier way, but we still got there. Um, why do we always have to have this? There's one treasure map in our deck. We don't necessarily need to have it um, in our hand. Murphal can certainly run, all, run over this. I think I'm going to have to mulligan. At least we have a fight with fire, I suppose. Yeah, this deck's pretty strong. Um, our opponent's deck is the kind of deck that can, you know, like, the synergy-based cre creature deck is the kind of deck that can run us over. Hey, way to go, hogs. Good job. So I think I need to kill this um, this deep root elite before they start getting like a bunch of counters on everything and make like their creatures a whole lot bigger. Because now next turn Hellkite can I can play Hellkite next turn and that can like kill the Mistbinder, the Merfolk Mistbinder. The the next turn you can shoot that thing down. So th hopefully they don't have another way to pump their Merfolk Mistbinder. Hopefully no way to pump. No pump, no pump. Alright, good. <laughs> Alright, next turn we can activate the Incubation Druid. And activate Hellkite. We're gonna start dropping sword tooths. They should pull they should probably attack with the one one also, right? Oh, you're welcome, Yed. Glad you're loving this deck. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this deck too. No, my Hellkite. I need that Hellkite. Three, six, seven, eight. So yeah, the sword tooth will be turned on next turn. Um, so yeah, let's just go with those. Frenzy would be like like usual. Frenzy would be the best card for us to draw. Frenzy would be incredible. That is the worst card for us to see. That is really bad for us to see. 
That's yeah, that's that's awful. They get to start putting counters on their things now. I can't I can't attack in now. That was really bad for us. Bleh. Worst possible draw. Looked a lot better whenever we passed the turn a little bit ago. Yep. Looked a whole lot better a little bit ago. I'm not, I don't think I want a Field of Ruin. It's like kind of like the only thing. It can get better. I mean, if, if we just draw a, if we just draw a frenzy, we're gonna want these sword tooths. If we draw frenzies, we don't want to trade one sword tooth for two of these stupid tokens. Hey, what's up, player four? Fire with, you know, we have more fire with fires. Fire with fires would be awesome draws also, because we do have the mana to kick fire with fire now. Thanks that sub player four sub number nine on the day one sub away from our next sub goal they get to put connors on that with also with kumena and with deeper elite why would you possibly getting rid of bio bendic bomb it seems like an awesome card To be fair, our opponents really had real good hands, both these games. They made Kumeta unblockable. All right, might as well get a basic out of our deck. We do have, we do have fiery cannonade. That's a possible draw. Um, yeah, fiery fiery cannonade would actually get our. Yeah, fiery cannonade would actually do it. That'll not do it though. I just put a count on other things. I like our deck more when we have Experimental Frenzy. But honestly, that's gonna that's honestly gonna be like a, a pretty tough matchup for us. Just how they can get like really big, cre you know, go really wide and really big. Um, you know, I don't really have like the sweepers and stuff and. That'll be tough, that, them having that removal spell for the Hellkite. You know, they don't play many removal spells, but them having that, that removal spell was pretty clutch. Um, actually, I think I'm ditching that. Maybe I need to just keep that with the treasure map. Oh, Cannonade was... I didn't even look. Cannonade was on top before we shuffled. If I just didn't activate the Field of Ruin, we would have had Cannonade. I didn't even look. Dang. I don't really know what our opponent's doing. Swamp, Swamp, Reassembling Skeleton. Not too scary. Let's draw a frenzy. Come on, deck. You can do it. Frenzy. Frenzy. Doesn't really matter. Our opponent's doing absolutely nothing. Uh, 
All right, looks like we just got a free win. Oh, they blow up. Oh, I thought they. It looked like they were blown up twice. So I thought they were conceding the match. Um, I'm just gonna keep it the same. Yeah, they've been to Biogenicus. Yeah, no idea what that was all about. All right, keeping this because of treasure map. Um, and, and presumably these cards are all really good if we get to them. Oh. Uh, they have a lot of cards in their deck. Yeah, we're mono red mid-range over here. Mono red mid range. That's probably why our opponents got stuck on lands both games. So many cards in their deck. He lost to a 110 card Merfolk deck once. Nice. Oh, I didn't have the upkeep stop in there. But that's still. That's all right. Not a land. I want land. All right. Um, we should probably actually just draw because if we just draw the land, we get to Hellkite. <laughs> yep. That was. Pedro, you were right on right on here. You're like, it looks like they have 80 cards. Look over, it's exactly 80. Pedro's like, I counted it. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of a free win. So, new match. Alright, I like this hand. <laughs> yeah, Frenzy's a pretty crazy card. You get, you just start casting the cards on top of your library instead of the ones in your hand. How it works. So hopefully you'll see it here in action so you'll kind of get an understanding of what it does. Our opponent has an appropriate number of cards this time. Shauna Sisei's Legacy. That card's cool. I like that card. Um, I should probably just coil that card. Yeah, that card can get really big. If I if I cast Incubation Druid, I would be able to play Hellkite the next turn, but I think it's just safe to to get that thing out of here. Oh yeah, I should have asked Pedro for the exact number of cards in our opponent's library before. All right, and I want to find like frenzy here. Um, hmm. Main deck night autumn, huh? You got me. Pona got me with that main deck. Night Autumn. I don't really mind though. I don't mind my treasure map getting blown up. Just don't blow up just don't blow up my frenzy.
to change hands. No, main, main deck Knight of Autumn is really not that bad at all. It's a, it's a pretty strong card. Just play a bunch of hell kites, I suppose. Guess I'll just kind of play a bunch of scary dragons. A reasonable plan. I have not played Biomancer's Familiar with Hellkite yet, no. I did try playing Nikia the old ways with Hellkite. I think I got that one time, like where so the Nikia could um you know, double the mana and stuff. Uh, let's all right. So let's get these cannonades back in the same sideboarding as before. So we're playing against green white tokens. Um, maybe I want one cinder vines for like history banalias and and stuff. I guess I guess I'll play a cinder vines over that other treasure map for like but not really banalia. It's mostly like they're they're enchantment removal. Like they they probably have like conclave tribunal exlods binding stuff like that. Oh, you don't have the four sword twos? No. Hey, what's up, Skippy? That's our third game in a row. I think third game in a row without uh, Frenzy. I think that's the third one. I want some more Frenzies. Too many non-Frenzy games. All right, here we go, game two. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. We can play a mana creature, then a mana creature, then we can destroy the mana creatures. Yeah. That's good deck building right there. Good, solid deck building. I think I have to click this thing to get a stop here in order to do this. Hey, Skippy! Thanks for that tier one sub. That's sub number 10 on the day. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. So, sub number 10 means we're cracking open a pack. Pack time after this match. Hey track team, day's going good. We had a real good run with um, 
You should be proud to have come so far. With the Crixus discard just a little bit ago, and now we are playing some Gruel Friends, eh? Heal. No. Don't heal. Die. Just just playing that cannonade right now because he uses our mana well, like where we get to lead up with this frenzy. Or sorry, with the, the Phoenix next, and then because then I can play the frenzy after Phoenix here. Um And thanks, Todd. Really enjoying the streams the past few days and have caught up on the meta quickly. Cheers. Keep the content pumping. Fight again. Thanks, Gibby. All right. Well, our Phoenix can hold the fort down pretty well. Ooh, let's get another Phoenix out there. Sorry, Frenzy. You're going to have to wait. No. All right. So they're just down to one card. I mean, Phoenix blocks all this stuff. Don't have removal, please. Please don't have removal. Ooh. That's a tough choice. Uh oh. Rut row. in the green because our, our only one mana spell is uh man that's a good draw our only one mana spell is uh land war elf that didn't end very well hmm don't really want to play any of these cards that's in our sideboard I have to put one of them in though. Maybe I just take the Bane Fire for like another removal spell that's really overcosted. Or yeah, maybe I just do that. Like Carnage Tyrant, they can't get rid of. It's kind of hard to attack through Carnage Tyrant. I think I'd rather have Tyrant or Banefire. Hey, Kr uh, Krathox, I don't, I don't really have any recommendations for best of one decks, because yeah, I, I always play best of three um, myself, and so yeah, I, I don't really have any good best of best of one decks. Sorry about that. So this is the same kind of matchup that we lost to with the Merfolk with like the uh, creature deck that goes wide kind of thing. Um, we did have a bunch of fiery cannonades that game and certainly possible that I used that second cannonade too early. I wanted to get it out of my hand before you know we went Phoenix Frenzy, but our opponent just had too much still. I, I thought that you know at the at the time they had nothing, but then they ended up having a whole lot of things and. All right, hopefully we draw another land here. Uh, you know, really want to go Phoenix, Hellkite and stuff. Get another land, okay. I'll do. Get to Phoenix next turn. Bleh. Oh! Hmm. I guess I'm killing this thing. I would have rather Phoenixed and saved the fight with fire for like a deputy of detention. I kind of messed that up. Golgi! 
Thank you so much for that uh, sub there, Golgi. Thanks for the continued support there for the second month in a row. Uh, let's go with the Phoenix first. If they have removal spell, I'd rather them use the removal spell on Phoenix than Hellkite. So maybe we'll just drop the Phoenix first. Hope, you know, like, they probably have one removal spell in their hand, likely, and I'm hoping they don't have a second. Am I going to chump block with this elf? No, I'm probably not going to chump block with the elf. Yeah, that's a, that's a format I haven't... You know, best of one's a format that I haven't... Uh, you know, tried making decks for at all. It's kind of hard to... It'd be hard for me. I'd have to like start playing the format before I could just, uh, you know, fire off and make a deck for the format, really. So it'd, it'd take a little bit of time there. So same, exact same kind of thing that we struggled with with the Merfolk of like. Synergistic creature deck that makes really big creatures. They go, that makes really wide, you know, really big creatures that are also really wide. Uh, you know, this this deck's also like they've had a lot of removal too. It's been tough for us. Uh, nine, thirteen, seventeen. Down to one. One's not zero. And thankfully our opponent did not even kill the Land War Elf. So we can actually survive right now. Come on. We could have survived. They had to have a third removal spell. Star of Extinction could be a pretty good cyborg card, maybe. Could be a thing. I mean, I think these are like our toughest matchups. So I can shoot. I can't survive, can I? Do they have two creatures in the graveyard? They have exactly two? Man, just everything. So we would have been able to, if they didn't have that, we would have been able to go block, 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 you know, and then before damage, we would have had, we would have had two activations of Hellkite and be able to shot, shoot the other one for four. So we would have been able to survive again, but that Kral Harpooner messed it up. All right, so only one and two this time with Gruel Frenzy and with our, our one win basically being a free win. Um, not as good of a league for us, but, you know, like, that, that's the kind of variance of, like, just a really small sample there. You know, we had just an incredibly small sample with just the two matches, um, of both being, like, the same kind of decks, of, like, decks that, you know, are this synergistic creature decks that are just built on, 
uh, making a lot of large creatures right away. Um, and I don't really have a ton to stop that. I don't know, with just these colors, there's not really anything great in the sideboard, like like anything great to sideboard in those kind of matchups. Like, Fiery Candidate is kind of our best sweeper, even though this card sucks. It's kind of our best sweeper. Star of Extinction just costs so much mana. Um, I wish we had a better option than Fiery Cannonade. But there's not, not really anything that I know of, or that I can think of. But I would, you know, I'd like to improve that. Direfully Daredevil is, you know, it's an okay card. It's probably my least favorite card on the sideboard. That's where, that's like another spot where you can have some slots uh, for that kind of matchup, those kind of matchups. Um, could just play like more removal with uh, like Shiv and Fire, Shock, Lightning Strike, that kind of stuff. Uh, another Fire with Fire, just like some more. Uh, removal spells if you want, but I mean, I think we were going to be okay if our opponent if our opponent didn't have so much removal themselves, you know, like they got rid of our Hellkite, got rid of our Phoenix uh, you know, like this is this is what we like use for defense or like these things, like these these are our cards and our, our opponents just kind of had really good hands you know, like they, they had good hands there and, and they beat us and just got to give it up to them, so um yeah, so we'll we'll play Frenzy again here. Uh, I'm not too discouraged just because we lost uh, basically the two real matches. You know, we had like the one win that didn't wasn't really a match. Uh, not too discouraged about the deck. Um, you know, just didn't go our way. But there we go. We're we're gonna have a couple fun donation decks here in a little bit with vampires and goblins. So of course, if you're watching this here on Twitch, stick around. But if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there on YouTube. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.